Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video. Okay, so let's continue with crude operations and create some articles. Now, the best way to understand how crude operations work in Laravel is to take it step by step, and you will see what I mean in a second. For now, I have to register for a new account because I do not have one. So let me quickly create an account. Perfect, so we are authenticated and of course we now have an account. So I want to create some articles. First, I have to create the controller for that. So when it comes to crude operations, you can use a resource controller and you can create a resource controller by adding the resource option. So PHP artisan make controller articles controller. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the articles controller, so let me open this articles controller, you will see that we have some functions ready for work. So you can keep the comments uh, here in the controller, but I prefer to always delete them since I know exactly what they do. And you will also know that once we complete the crude operations. So let me quickly remove the comments. And with the comments out of my site, I will start creating articles. But before I do that, we need a route, right? Now, the thing about resource controllers is that you can also create a resource route. The advantage you have with a resource route is that with one single line of code, you have routes for all the functions in this controller. And I will go back to the terminal. So here now I will run php artisan route list. So this will list all the routes that are now available inside the application. So for now, we do not have routes for our functions inside the articles controller, right? However, if I create a route resource, we will have some routes inside the route list right here. So let me try that. I will go to the web.php and I will add right here a route resource. So the URI will be articles and the controller articles controller. So this is all what you need, nothing else. And this will create all the routes for you. So let me save both of my files and let's go back. Run this again and look at this. We now have available a couple of other routes related to articles. And all these routes are specifically for the articles controller and for the functions that are inside the articles controller. So take a look here. We have store, index, create, update, show, destroy, and edit which is exactly what we have here. So each of these routes corresponds to one of these functions right here. Perfect. So if you want, you can do something like this now. You can go to the articles URI or to articles and then create. This articles create URI corresponds to the create function or action because this is how they do that here. This is what they name it. They name this action. So let's start with that one. Because the create is a get request and you can verify that in the route list right here, it is a get request. All we have to do is to return a blade file. So that blade file will be used to create an article. So it will be the form. So let's do that. Return view articles dot create. Now articles here is the folder and create is the blade file. So let's create them inside the resources, views, a new folder, articles, and a new blade file right here. Create.blade.php. Okay. I will just add an H1 here, create article. I will save and also save this one. And let's not forget the semicolon there. Let's go back, reload, and you can see it right here. It says create article. Okay, so now let's work with this file here. First, I will extend our master file. So extends layouts.app. And remember, this is a file that is inside the layouts folder, and this is our master file. And if you remember, we are yielding the content, right? So we do it right here. So what we can do inside the create 
view is to create a section here content for the content I will add some HTML with some bootstrap classes okay so nothing really fancy here just pause the video and copy this code which is very basic now for the heading I will say create article and in the body I will have a submit button with some bootstrap CSS so input type submit we do not need a name but we need a class btn btn success and let's take a look okay it looks good we just have to pull the button to the right so let me do this here pull right much better and remember we do get this uh, menu right here at the top because we are extending the layouts which is our master file so this is why you get this menu here anyway now we need some HTML for the body to create some articles so our articles consist of content a checkbox that is live or not live and post on and you can verify it inside the database if you go to the articles table structure you can see that we have a content we have a live and a post on field so let's create the text area for the content I will create a div with the class form group inside here I will create a label content for content below this we can now create the text area the name will be content do not forget the name otherwise we cannot access the data inside the text area in our server and for the class we can just say for control let's take a look it's okay we also need a checkbox so div class checkbox we need a label as well we have a type here so the type is checkbox the name will be live and the text here will be live as well okay so we also need a date time for the post on field so i will create another div here class form group the label for this one will be post on and this is for the post on okay now the input will be a date time local the name is post on and the class is for control let's now take a final look to this and it looks good not very bad of course now everything has to be inside a form right because we want to post our data to the server so let's create a form here right inside the body I will say form okay so I will get everything and I will put everything inside the form including the button of course so do not forget the button okay paste all right now for the form we have a method which will be post of course and we also have an action so the action will be slash articles you know why articles well let me show you the articles URI right here is a get request here and a post request here now we are posting the data which means that we are at this line right here and this line here will call the store function so this is the reason why I'm using the articles URI okay so now let's go back everything is saved let me go here refresh and let's add some content so some content this is live okay I click submit and it looks like the value is not valid okay anyway submit and look at this we get a token mismatch exception now this is not the first time that we get this error most probably you already remember the solution to this problem so which means that inside the form we have to create a csrf field right so let me do it right here i will open double curly braces csrf field okay 
save, go back, reload, and try this again. Some content live. So let me put the year here, 2015. Click submit, and now we get this blank page. So now what I really want to do is to return the data inside the store function, because this is our next step. So I will say here, return request all. Save, go back, reload, and look at this. We get the token, the content, the value for the checkbox, and the value for the date time. And the reason why I did it, so why, the reason why I said return here inside the store function is because this is what we are calling, right? This is where we are posting. So once again, if you go to the create.blade.php file, the URI here is articles and the method is post. And once again, this is what we're doing. And this will use the store function. And this is why I'm returning request all inside the store function. So with this over, you can now move to the next video where we are going to complete the create feature by using this store function here. And as you can see, we will have a video for each of these functions. I believe that by having one video for each function, it will help you to understand 100% how crude operations work.